let's suppose if we treat our string begins with the number one let's suppose java is a word it contains how many characters guys it contains four characters right so j is j is j will become your first character and a becomes your second character so like that your word like the word java containing four characters i'm sharing my screen guys let me know once you're able to see my screen java if i use uh, if i say like word java then this word containing four characters j j a e b e and this is first character second character third character fourth character okay if i ask you what is the second character in java word in word java a a perfect and what is the index of letter a i'll call this one as index 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 so what is letter a index in the word java 2 2 two and 4 right because we are having a repeated twice in the word java right so this is first occurrence first occurrence of letter a so starting index is 2 and the rest of the occurrence like the last occurrence is 4 so letter a occurring at index 2 for the first time in the word java and the same letter a occurring at index 4 in the letter java okay remember this so in dax text functions we are having a function with the name find using which we can find index of a character or word okay so here i'll tell this is my source java is my source like my column value what i'm asking find j yeah. so as per your understanding what it will return guys i told you find will return find will accept two parameters like find accepts two parameters like letter or word I mean for which index needs to be identified and source data source or column source column you can say so here our source is java and i'm asking find j in java now tell me guys what is the result find returns index of a character or word tell me guys what is the result 1 1 find a b what is the index 2 3 2 and 3 so i am give i have given a word right instead of a single letter so you have to collectively treat av and your word av beginning from which index beginning from which index 2 okay now av tell me tell me guys with this understanding 2 2 because this entire letter av a beginning at second index in the word java So this way your find works, and let's see what if I give a to this tax function. What it will return? It will return two or four. We will check with help of Power BI or four. Will you same uh, text functions file? Which contains civilian information? This way. Okay. 
go to data. So we are having civilian table created. Under civilian, how many columns do you have, guys? Here. Yeah. Two columns. columns we have? Two columns, right? Okay. See, guys. Now I'll create a new column. Four columns we have, not two. Four. Okay. I'm creating a new column. So what I'll say? Index of space. I'm giving. I'm naming my column as index of space. So to this column, I'm giving values as formula as find is the values of full name. So I'm giving full name of my civilian stable full name column. So in this column, find space wherever space is there so i'm hitting enter hmm. see guys <clears throat> so for first value like in the name suman kumar ganta what is the value given guys index of space i'm checking for the space guys six because in this name space is beginning from where So here in this name, one, one, two, three, four, five. After that, S is there in sixth position. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is there. I mean, again, space is there at twelfth position. But your find method returning only six. The reason find method always gives you the index of given character which is occurred for the first time from the left side see at sixth position we are having one space at twelfth position we are having one more space in this word but our find method giving you the value as six that is find method giving you the occurrence of the given letter or word for the first time in the string. Clear, guys? Clear, sir. Okay. Everyone clear about this? Yes, sir. Clear. No. So, using this, we will see, we can combine two or more DAX functions to achieve a different purpose. Basically, individual DAX functions are defined or designed to achieve some specific purpose. Let's suppose I'm saying from the left side two characters in a given column what it will give left to method left to function left to function if i say left so let's say left data i'll say left of i'll give in full name column give me five characters from the left side see what is given the five characters from the left side in the column full name. Okay. Clear. So here, what I want to do, I want to separate address and city. Here, my address and city are having a pattern like this, Sanatnagar, Kama, Hyderabad. Yes, I'm stressing on uh, this particular function. The reason is we will get this kind of uh, request during real time work. Okay. So that's why I wanted to make you people to understand the utilize, I mean, the usage of multiple DAX functions combined together. Okay. See here. Now we are having a format like this: Sanat Nagar and Hyderabad. Now I want to split this one into two columns, like Sanat Nagar as one column, like only address, and another column like city as only as Hyderabad, instead of a single string. This is why I want to split my data. Okay. We are, are we having any specific pattern here, guys? Like, uh, are we having fixed number of characters uh, in each of, um, are we having fixed number of characters in each of the string? Each of the other string, guys? If there's a fixed pattern, we can simply say from the left side, these many characters will be your address part. And from the right side, these many characters will be your city part. This way we can write, we can use the left and right formulas. But in our case, it is 
or data not containing those many fixed characters. How many characters address part in this uh, address? What is the length of address part in this string? Count guys. Two one. Yes, it is twelve character length. The words are not containing six characters. After that, one space seven. After that, five characters. Seven plus five, twelve characters. Before comma, we are having twelve characters. And see here in this address, how many characters we have before comma? Ten. Ten. Four characters. After that, fifth character. After that, again five characters. Ten characters. And the, in this address, seven. 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 Mg two characters. One space. Third character. After that, road. Four characters. Total seven characters. Okay. And after that, are we having uh, so in terms of character or length of the string we are not having any specific pattern here what is the one specific pattern we have in the address column data guys if you want to separate Set. address yeah address and city what is one specific pattern we have here separated by comma we are having address and city yes. separated by comma and a space See here, comma and a space. So, comma and a space. What, how, what can I say? String or text before comma and space is address. And what is city? Tell me. What is the pattern for city? Text after Amount space is a city. Clear is like Sanat Nagar and Hyderabad. Is yes. like to follow closely what I'm saying in the address text before this particular comma and space is will be your address and text after comma and space will be your city. Sanatnagar will be the value before comma and space and Hyderabad will be the value after comma and space. Clear guys? Guys clear? Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, how to fetch this value? How to fetch this value? How to, now, now we have to know how to fetch this value. Only Sanat Nagar from this entire value. How to fetch only Sanat Nagar from this entire value? Okay, so Sanat Nagar lying at the left side. Okay, so what I'll say, what I'll say, yeah, what I'm saying, first from the left side. From the left side, we have to get the data starting from first character till this. Okay. From the left side, we have to get the characters, number of characters from the position one to the index of comma and space. Okay, first we will identify index of comma space. We'll come to know. I'll say, I'll change this one. Index of comma, I'll say. What I'll say, find index of comma and the space in address part of civilian table. Civilian table address part, I'm trying to find comma and space occurrence. So see here, index of comma is 13. Index of comma is 13. So here, index of comma is 
command space is 13 in this word in this word sorry. yes in this entire word index of comma space is 13 guys guys clear so far in this yes, entire sir. address index of comma and space is 13 now from the left side if i try to fetch and see the values like what is the start position start position will be always one right start position will be always one from the left side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, remember that. And next, well, this length of your string before comma. I'll take another value, Jayanagar, Mangalore. But tell me, guys, what is index of comma and uh, space in Jayanagar? address 11 and count number of characters before comma and space 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 before comma and space what is the length of your string 10 and in m0 chennai 8 is the index 8 is the index now count Count your string before comma and space. What is the length of the string before comma and space? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Are we noticing any pattern here, guys? This is your index of uh, comma and this is your string length. Before comma and space. Are we having any, uh, are you noticing any diff, um, pattern here, guys? Is any pattern? Difference between them is one. Sir. Yes, always is one. Difference between them is one. So can I say from the left side, from the left side, from the left side of this string, at the string, it me number of characters from the left side my address part is always one index less than the index of common space what does it mean my index i'm finding my index using i'm finding index this way common space index getting found using this formula so to this one whatever index i'm getting 13 11 1 if i detect one then i'm getting length of my string from the left side so can i use these many characters this way as a second parameter in the left function see here guys this is your index 13 11 8 and if i extract address only address part and the left function contains how many parameters? 13. Left function contains two parameters. Where is left? Yeah. Text, comma, number of characters to be returned. Okay. Left function contains two parameters. But one is your column. And second parameter is your number of characters to be fetched. Yes. So, column value address I am giving. And here I'm mentioning number of characters to be fetched from the left side. And I'm telling you have to fetch number of characters from the left side till you encounter this comma and space. And how your left function knows that? We are giving the second parameter that is number of character values using a find function. And find function will be able to identify the index of your separator comma and space this way this way see here index of comma finds comma space in address part 
so it is able to identify the index of or occurrence of comma and space in your address so from the left side if you try to fetch these many characters then you will get address with comma because this is start the position of your comma and space if you don't need comma then you limit your extraction of address part using left function by detecting one character so that it won't include comma in your output is clear yes okay so if i use this function what happens i use this function i'm not using such a so not tell me it will be left of address comma will be 12 left of address comma 12 and it becomes for the second row it becomes address comma 10 mm. on left side address comma 7 okay. yeah it's clear if we apply this formula then we will get this result like find result as this way and from the left side 12 characters will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Exact your address part. Is clear? Yes, sir. Everyone clear, guys? Yes, sir. So this way we can combine both left and find DAX functions to retrieve some part of your column data which is having some specific pattern. Okay, let's apply this. I'm adding a new column. In this column, I'm naming this column as address part equal to from the left side from the address column. Teach me, teach me these many characters until you find comma space in the same address column. And if you, once you get that result, detect that by minus one, because this find method giving you the start position of comma and space. And if you detect one value, it will be pointing to the last character before comma, which will be your entire correct address part. I'm closing this. I'm hitting enter. So see, guys, able to get that Sandat Nagar J N Nagar M zero exact address part. Can anyone say this address part column containing any trialing space? No, sir. How? How can you tell that? Through exactly fixing length. No? Hmm. Exactly. We had we have tried to fetch using formula. That is okay. But we cannot say like uh, space is not visible, right? It is an invisible uh, character. We cannot say space is available or unavailable at the end of your character. But in our case, we can definitely say space, trialing space is not there. The reason is your entire existing text itself not containing a trialing space after your address. If there is any error in your uh, logical error in your formula, then you have to get some comma at the end instead of space, right? See here. Instead of space, you have to get comma definitely. Right, guys? Yes. Okay. So as comma is not coming in the output, we can say, we can say your formula is correct. Okay. Clear. Yes, sir. So this way you can combine both left function, left function with find function, which gives you this result. Now tell me guys, you take your time, you take your time. I'll allow you to take like two to three minutes and think and let me know how to extract the right side city part. I need a new column with the name city part equal to and let me know which particular method we have to use, which particular function we have to use or 
which all our uh, DAX functions can be combined and achieve that result with this understanding. Tell me, guys. So this builds your logical thinking, guys. We know functions, but we need to address the business requirements with our logical knowledge. So logical thinking is very important. Write and find functions. Mm -hmm. How? Okay. See, here itself I'll apply. Write. Address column. So tell me what I have to use from right side. Find. Mm -hmm. Find. Space. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Find out space, comma, column name, column minus name. one, minus one. So first we will try to get index of this space from the right side and see. Find. Is address column okay. index of space is already available. All right. So it's saying is seven five three values we have written as seven five three. So from the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sir, hmm. instead of space, we are using comma, sir. Instead of? Space, we are using comma, sir, here. Find, uh, space, hmm. we are using space, man. But space oh. is not available here. Okay. Space is available, right, from the right side. This entire thing containing both comma and space. Okay, okay. Like after comma space is there, no? Hmm, after comma space is there. This way our text written, guys. It need not to be the same case like uh, in other scenarios also we'll have space after comma. This way we have a, we have prepared our data and with this, on this existing data we have to fetch that city part. Hello, Samba. Uh, using length function, we can achieve this. But whatever functions that we have discussed so far. Hmm. Then if I can minus uh, with the previous function, le left function, I can get the remaining part. Mm -hmm. How come? Tell me. Just tell your formula. I'll write it here. I'll execute it here right away. But for that even we need to use length function as well. Hmm, sure, we'll use definitely. We'll go for using that. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Uh, the left uh, function uh, returns the entire string before the character you have uh, uh, input it. So, will the right function uh, give the output as the uh, entire string after the right character? If it is optional, it will give. Okay. For example, let's say the right address comma find. Uh, if we write comma in the double quotes and then address plus one, then what would be the output for that? Right. Address, plus. address mm -hmm. comma find okay uh, then uh, inside the find uh, in the double quotes you put comma okay uh, comma in the double quotes between okay. the double quotes okay and then address plus one okay. address okay okay address plus one so i think this would probably give the output we so will find this part so here for this color. Find comma in address column plus one. 
14, 12, 9. From the right side, if we pass this value to right function, what it will count from the right side, 1, 2, 3, like that, it will count 14 characters and it will give you incorrect string. It won't give you the correct string. Oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, did we, I mean, uh, did we discuss about any function which will give you the string like from a starting position? In our late classes, have we discussed anyone remember any such function, any such text function? Anyone remember about mid function, guys? Mid function. Yeah. Check. What mid function will give you, guys? Mid function will give you give the required string from, from the, the column, from a column, from a position, and number of characters it will give you. Will this work? Can we give a try on mid function, guys? Mid function using first using find function, we will identify the start position. Let's go and see. So, what is the start position? We know what is the start position of index of comma. 13, 11, 18. This is start position. Yes. Right. So, can I use mid function with a new column? I'll rem I'm removing these columns, guys. Yeah. New column. So, I'll give CP path mid column. Sorry, mid function. What contain, guys? Text, start position, number of characters. Text is address. And I, I already, uh, we already executed uh, this index part, right? Start position. The index, if I give index of comma, or I can say find, inside find method, comma space in address. after that number of characters it is asking but the city names are not fixed length of city names are fixed not fixed Hyderabad is having nine characters Bangalore is having eight characters Chennai is having seven character length nothing guys how to achieve this we know we know a mid mid function will return a string starting from a position and we are able to identify this position because in address string comma space available in a specific index which is the starting position that we can identify using find function but from that particular point once you identify comma dot space after that till end of the string you need to identify the rest of the value so here length of my entire address string from this string if I detect if I detect my index of comma space see what happens so it became more complex and what I'm trying to do here is, is first I'm trying to use mid function. Mid function need a column name. We know more column name. After that, it needs starting position. And I know starting position number. This is starting position from my city. For my city. Okay. How to identify this position, comma space? How to identify this? Using find method. Find this. After that, I have found so that what I have to do, I have to, as we detected one character, one index to close our output before comma, here we have to, here we have to add two characters, two indexes. The reason is comma space index will begin at 13. But your actual Hyderabad city will begin at which character, guys? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It is beginning at comma, comma beginning at 13th position. 
after that 14 15 at 15th position your actual string is beginning right by it is 15 that means 13th position of uh, index of comma space plus 2 we have to do here in our case you guys getting my point so you'll be reaching this point so from this point from this point you have to identify from this point you have to identify the string till end of the value so that is nothing but your final parameter of mid function the third parameter so the third parameter you have to mention how many characters you want to read how many characters that you want to read guys get my point getting point guys yes ma'am yeah yes sir okay so now how to arrive with the number of characters what i'm saying so let's suppose here i'll change formula so length of entire string length of this entire string is 23 so from the left side 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 characters if we remove 14 characters from the length if we detect 23 minus 14 characters what will be the output guys 23 minus 14 output is 9 nothing but you are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Clear? So, we know start position. Start position, nothing but after comma and space occurred, we have to take the next character, which is nothing but in here in our case 13 and 14. And 15, from 15 position, your city beginning. And in, our, in this case, at 11th position, character is uh, comma is there 11, 12, 13. So 13th position will be your city beginning, city string beginning index. And here 8, not 8th position, your comma is occurring. After 8th, 9th character and 10th character will be your, your city string for this address. So we have to always add two indexes after finding comma and space to arrive with the beginning character index of your city word. Okay, it's clear so far. Why we are doing this? To arrive with the beginning index of your city word in the address part. Okay. After that, what I'm saying, how many characters we have to arrive with. So here what we did, we have we have found the length of the entire address. In that address, this piece, this entire piece we have to remove. So what I'll say? length of your entire address minus the number of characters the number of characters so the number of the position of your sorry space position of your space because this is last value right spice not the comma space in the address that can fetch you the number of characters yes this is column this will give you the start position of your uh, city word and this gives you after identifying start position of your city word how many characters you have today this will give you that information clear guys First, try to find out this piece first. Sorry, length of address minus find of the space address. See, yes, uh, Suman, sorry yeah. to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, instead of using mid, uh, why can't we use right over there? You can use. You can use. There are alternate ways we have. So one of the approach I'm telling here. Okay. okay. We can use definitely. So in case here. of that, we can write function. Find function working from left to right or right to left, sir? Left to right. Find always, always from left to right. Whether it is That's left or right. Function. From left to right. That's why you are getting uh, index starting index of a character. If it goes from left to right, then only it will consider left with very first occurrence, right? 
instead of the second occurrence of the space and this right function we are using in case even though if we use find function inside right find will always evaluate given character occurrence from the left to right in the string okay sir okay see here guys whatever formula we have written almost worked here but only thing it has fetched comma and space as well the reason is the reason is here we have added plus 2 in the excel to reach the initial character of your city word but here in actual formula in power bi we haven't written that plus 2 to the start position that's why your city got fetched from comma space city comma space city comma space city and the last characters got truncated here two characters are included additionally and last characters got truncated so instead of that what if i do press 2 here and see the output guys city part clear guys yes sir so yes sir I, wa i wanted to take some complex yes. example guys the reason is uh, i wanted to make you understand one formula can be used as part of other formula because mid function need one starting position that start position can be a fixed number of character like 13 14 something or it can be a formula which can fetch you it you can fetch you the actual start position similar way mid function contains a third parameter which tells these many characters you have to fetch from that particular column so that length that number can be given directly as a hard coded value or you can get that value through some formula based on our requirement guess clear uh, so someone yeah. which means uh, instead of the parameter i can use a formula to get that that value yeah correct yeah value that's so, what we did right? yeah. uh, if we write uh, any other function it doesn't work here right uh, instead of the the parameter see what kind of value a number is it's a numeric one right yeah okay find function will return any a numeric value see here this find function here we have demonstrated find function where we are trying to and understand the occurrence of space in the full name column so it is giving this result as a number yeah so a function which returns a numeric value can be used in as part of mid function as a second parameter because mid function contains syntax as uh, text, three parameters start position text, and number of position. characters whereas last two parameters are numeric ones yeah is clear everyone is yes, clear sir okay but i think this is not working if we switch the values sanatnagar to next uh, in, instead of sanatnagar we place jayanagar and jayanagar in place of sanatnagar then the comma is getting populated as well true definitely because you were uh, ah no you're saying uh, switching altering uh, com column yeah values. length length values uh, if sanatnagar is bigger than jayanagar right so uh, when we are adding for, a, you should not go for using hard coded value that's why if in every row in every row see here uh, go to let's go to power bi here in city part column we are fetching data dynamically for each row based on the address column so always we are using address column mid value and in the address column start from a character which is after space comma space because we have mentioned plus 2 right when wherever comma space occurs in address column after comma space i mean plus 2 we made right so after comma space whichever letter comes from that letter this is the first parameter and after that a length of entire string from that string try to remove the length of this particular occurrence comma space that's all so it will definitely work for whatever we see here um second uh, let me open the data
okay yeah i got it actually i think uh, if it is double double space then it is fetching uh, extra comma uh, mm -hmm. it all depends on data yeah, yeah. all depends okay. on data got you. i'll yes. give one exercise on this i have already given that exercise but uh, i for, forgot to discuss about fine function otherwise i think like majority of people answer that question guess everyone clear how to use uh, this is very popular example guys this is very popular example first we have to understand thorough understanding on each of the function like what is the purpose of each function after i mean once you have understanding on these functions then you can you can mix them and achieve any requirement which is given with respect to text data okay guys can i move on to next function so it accepts such text in column and returns at position the search text in the column data is clear right everyone moon further guys yes sir okay yes sir. this is about fun yeah so there is one more function with the name combine guys uh, i have told you right uh, earlier um, um combine values um we have seen one example in the last session using concatenate method where where we can uh, um which is the file i have open now this is dax demo this is dax demonstration okay i'll go to dax demonstration so the rank folder got selected i'll go with dax demonstration yeah dax demonstration containing sheet of data like this go to sheet 1 of your dax demonstration ha huh. so it is containing product quantity unit price product type this way so here i want to concatenate product and product type i need to have uh, a label printed to be printed like oil hyphen grocery so how can i achieve that my requirement is like so let's suppose if i have a data like this oil that grocery so i want to get an output saying oil oil hyphen grocery so so in text functions we have discussed concatenate can help us to concatenate two character two column values so if we use concatenate then your concatenate result will be oil grocery your concatenate result will be oil grocery but there is no separator to be added i mean can be added so here how you have to achieve this oh uh, using double amp percent uh, concatenate oil first with this oil concatenate hyphen whatever result that comes concatenate oil with hyphen whatever result comes concatenate this result with your word grocery so you have to use concatenation nested way true or not guys you have to use concatenation in nested way to achieve this kind of result okay so to avoid such problems guys you know right how concatenation because concatenate function having only two input values it can concatenate only it can concatenate only two values it cannot concatenate more than two values so that's why you have to go for concatenating two values first after that the result with other third value clear yes, yes. okay yes, but to avoid that issue there is a function given in dax with the name concatenation using combined values combined values yeah combined values will accept a delimiter first i mention hyphen 
which is the separator between your words and it can it can accept n number of columns see here in the formula expression one expression two comma comma they have given like that you can add any number of columns so i'll add it product sheet one product after that i'll add sheet one product type see the output guys high life and grocery high life and stationary came so if i add quantity also see what happens Okay. See here, guys. I have written delimiter only once, but I have mentioned the, the columns which needs to be concatenated using this delimiter. Clear, guys? Yes. Yeah. This way it works. So delimiter. Column one, column two. Column three, like this. Okay. Clear, yes. Yes, sir. Okay. If everyone clear, uh, then I'll give you an assignment, guys, tonight. So I'm stopping session here. Okay. So we'll continue next session, guys.